Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Ungern and his vampire and Chambi and his necromantic team. In the booth is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. <laughs> and wow, Blitz is not what you want to see against vampires, is it? He might, he might get some pressure here. Oh, is this Ungern, is it? It is, yeah. Done all right with this team. It's amazing how far you can get with vamps when your opponent doesn't score against you. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, yeah, he's got he's got four really good vampires, hasn't he? Um, yeah. I just yeah. found blood step, blood step, mighty blow tackle, edge five, mighty blow tackle, blood step. Yeah. yeah, he came through a killer chaos team, didn't he? Yep. And uh, a killer wood elf team as well, to be fair. Yeah, unbelievable wood elf. Player. Yeah. Player more than team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a hell of a player. What a player. What a player. But uh, it's tricky. It's tri it's tricky hitting strength three sidesteppers with their uh, wolves, as I was forced to do all today in all today in Blitz Pit. But um, <laughs> strength four blood steppers is obviously even worse. So it's going to be very difficult to get hits off with his wolves. Oh god, I remember that blodge goddamn flesh golem from the last game. <laughs> <laughs> he was unbelievable. He was. And if oh, there's the, leap, the legendary leap wolf as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have been sidestep. Isn't for some reason. Um, if you've been paying attention to uh, Gadernik's chalice run this season, he has two blodge guard fleshies. Absolutely ridiculous. Who? Gedanik. He's a uh, famous oh, he's American. This, oh, all right. I thought you meant. I thought you meant because he was playing Burtz, and I was like, "What? <laughs> what are you on about?" But then <laughs> you meant for next season, season forty-six, I believe. Yeah. Why did he push him to there and not there? I don't get I, why he added a three plus dodge. I don't claim to have all the answers, Jim. I think it's because he's a necromantic coach, and they really like dodging the walls. And they do. Even though it wasn't necessary, he just thought, you know. <laughs> I like the taste. <laughs> no true daedle, but you know, unfortunately being Edge 5 <laughs> seems a bit shit when the other one's strength 5. <laughs> Edge 5! Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know. Like, I'm sure everybody else on Michael Jordan's teams were good, but no one remembers them like they do Michael Jordan, do they? No. Or is it Kobe Bryant, maybe? Uh, he was not. No, it was like Scotty Pippen, wasn't it? Scotty Pippen. Scottie the legend. The Love man with the legend. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a big foul. Gets him. Just a stunt. Yeah, exactly. So Scotty Pippen just not really remembered. He was just the Edge 5 dancer. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't the Strength 5 Edge 5 dancer. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, definitely the, the Robin in the Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So yeah, so now he has set up this hit, which is very nice. Beautifully, beautifully set up from Shamba. Yeah. It's a good thing we're not watching this in real time because it probably would have took a while. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hit with a mighty blow though. He hit, he's got oh, power, because he hasn't got tackle. Ah, so you could only Gee. choose one of you. This could be big. It is. It is, yeah, huge. It is big. Just we gentil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got all three vampires over one side. What does he do? Does he? What does he do? I don't even know what he's meant to do. He's still going for it. Yeah, he's got to be aggro. <laughs> and it's turn two. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, isn't it? That like he's this far down the field on turn two. Yes, yeah, so he's putting one guy over. Gazing guards are so good, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty great. 
turns a negative 2D into a 2D. <laughs> Things, but he's he's got a few players, but I guess it's a bit tricky up there. Oh, yeah, the stun is oh oh rowdy. Oh, that was well worth it. I think against an edge three player to attack him. If he was edge four, totally pointless. But with edge three, like they do not want to have to make that one in nine, do they? I thought Dennis Rodman was the guy who used to feature in the adult films. <laughs> no, he had a. Uh, he looked like he looked a weirdo and had like uh, funny coloured hair. <laughs> that was his main source of fame. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> basically famous for being a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> when was this played? Was this played today, was it? Uh, it was played yesterday, I believe. I don't think anyone played uh, today. They that... rest or not? Yeah, well, the thing is, most people in the cup are in Blitz bit as well, aren't they? So, so... I wouldn't say most. Not most, no. I didn't say most. Did I say most? Yeah, I did. Yeah. There's a lot of people, though. There was a lot of people still in Blitz bit, wasn't there? And like, and there was a lot of people started in Blitz Pit, right? That was the thing. So they wanted to keep yeah. their weekend open. So there were there were like twenty four people in Blitz Pit. So there was a lot of people in Blitz Pit from day one. So they wanted to keep their weekend free. So yeah. Oh, it's been so good having another Blitz Pit. Honestly, it's, uh, it's been too long. Yeah. I mean, the one the the one the one slight negative is now I've lost my orange colour. <laughs> Would have oh, been nice to have kept that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, orange is overrated anyway. Yeah, but it's nice it's saying Blitz Pit Champ. <laughs> <laughs> champ. Hello, Unforgiven. Yeah, I mean, you're in the history books though, Jim. That's the thing, isn't it? You're in, like, no one can take that away from you. Yeah. And, like, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of how I played around. Well, no, except against Chugs. <laughs> I played so bad oh, yeah, against Chugs. I, I played so bad against Chugs. I don't know, it wasn't really the whole game either, it was just uh It was just like A half. Two mistakes. It was just two big mistakes, which It's hard mate, like a minute turn, like it doesn't matter how good you are, it's it's hard. Oof, mm. this is rowdy. Wow. Wow wow wow. Oh my god, that is that is Hella rowdy, isn't it? Like with all uh, these vampires around. I guess he was gonna move eight, and maybe he's trying to get away. I'm just completely out of range for the hit. But even then, like you're gonna score early, aren't you? It's like this is. Yep. A... I mean, it, like, it could be another example of people just not having massive experience against vampires because they're like one of the races that like you just don't see them on ladder, right? Like, and when you do, it's like once in like 30 games or something like that. It's not. And uh, they're they're just so hard to play against. Like even when you play really well, they're a nightmare. Depends how they roll, really, doesn't it? I mean, more than any other team. Yes. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Like, if they roll well, like if kids live and vamps roll well, you're not gonna have a fun time. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> yeah. So blitz crew two plus two plus. See, he's, he's in range to score as well, isn't he? Just bang yep. him. Yep. That's why he's moved the throw there in case he blew the listed. But because he hasn't, he's not going to score, he's going to stall. That makes sense as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fine, I guess. As as you don't want to get you. Yeah, he's going to get a vampire punch for this. Hello, Kaylon. Hello! Kaylon. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> oh, be Jesus. <laughs> oh, be Jesus. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Why 
was I was just committed to this power. Yeah. That seems a bit crazy when you could have actually put like pressure on pressure the stall. I mean, like who cares? Like uh, <laughs> who cares? If you, kill... <laughs> if you if you kill a vamp and lose the game, uh, you still won, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hang on. That's not right, is it? <laughs> that's not right, no. <laughs> Some would say that's incredibly wrong, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice hit on the ball, though. Ah, oh, nice. gets away with it. I guess he's gonna knock the stall anyway. I feel like he maybe could have done. Maybe he's gonna uh, stall still. No, he can't now, surely. No. Surely you can't be serious, but three turns with Necro, the, the Vamps may be more likely to score this than, than the Necro, right? I think, like, honestly, like, with as the Necro coach, like, you probably. What, like, the three turn score is easier than the eight turn score. Yeah, yeah, you've got to protect it less, yeah. Yeah, it's just you just got one turn to get it into range. One turn to secure the ball, one turn to get it into range, and one turn to score. And you just wanna. I'm surprised Dungan's not setting up slightly wider for this. Yeah. Like Chevron's. The thing is, though, of course, is that. You don't because want to you've got... someone's guard, yeah. Yeah, you, because you've got to move it so far in such little time, you might end up giving up a little bit of protection. And if you do, the Wamps are gonna come in and take your ball away, so it, it is. It is tricky, that like balance of scoring quickly and not over committing. Like, I just had to give up against the rats. I just couldn't score. I just had to go on turbo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. But I just didn't make any removals at all. Another game where I just rolled shit all game. Yeah. It was kind of shocking how bad, how bad, like, mine and PC's dice were most of the tournament. Then poor old Cole had one game of bad dice. Well, no, not really. Oh, mate, P you know, like, you much. know the whole <coughs> meme about PC uh, and his GFIs? Like, <laughs> his game against Gerion, mate, like, he, like, I didn't watch it, like, all the way through. I, I didn't watch, but, like, every time I flicked back to it, he was failing the GFI. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. No, I'm, I'm sure Cole had lots of bad games of dice. I was I just, that, I misspoke there. What I meant was... The one time oh, where, where, like, he would have won us the tournament, he just had sh a shocking dice. Like, it was definitely shocking. Yeah. Yeah, like, get, mate, the f the fact that he got the two turn, um, like where, he, like, Hero allowed himself to get chained into the end zone early to uh, make PTK get the the two turn was like it. Like, I was saying that it was pretty much over, and then. Um, he gave him the chain into the end zone and then get, got himself the two turn and then obviously had a bad little string in the two turn. Mm. Then lost the toss. I mean, it does like a lot of the time it doesn't matter like how bad your dice are. It's, it's that one dice if you win the overtime toss or not, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, to be fair, we were pretty we were pretty damn lucky in the uh, previous round, right? Call won the overtime toss and so did PC. Well, not in the previous. Yeah. In in the early round, like the round. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this morning, yeah, this afternoon, like the first round. And like that, that's so heavy. And then obviously, like you look at games like Elliot versus Flicky, where it, even that one dice roll was overshadowed by the kick, the kicks dice roll. You know, so, <laughs> so like it literally can come down to a kick. Like I thought at one point, I thought um, like we were gonna see the the crunch crunchets or rock set guys come down to kicks. Yeah. I, li I literally thought like their whole competition was going to be decided on a 1d6 roll, like whether or not they made the semi-final or the fight, the loser yeah. bracket final or not. Yeah. Like how how mad is that? You play a whole weekend of blood bowl and then it just comes down to one kick dice roll. <laughs> I think it did, didn't it? One of the somebody's. I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it didn't in uh, um, what's it called? Didn't in the uh, rock set game versus crunch. But there, there was one where it did, because I remember... I remember day one was. there was. Yeah, day mm. one there was. Flicky Flicky beat Elliot's team at six. And that came down to Halflings versus Woodies. It was, I think it was nil-nil, and then came down to Kips. <laughs> Elliot versus Flicky broke both, man. 
<laughs> oh, I, I need to go. Like, did uh, Flicky didn't stream it though, did he? Did Flicky stream his game? Because if he did, that is definitely what I'm going to watch as I go to bed tonight. <laughs> Some someone said that he didn't, but I, I don't know. Uh, I watched. The, I did watch the Elliot version, and I, I know Elliot was uh, mentally having a difficult time. Uh, yeah. But like, I can imagine Flicky. Like, Flicky had like no else left in the overtime. Yeah. <laughs> And Zara, every time Zara stabs off, we get tired. It's brilliant. Yeah. Well, something's happened here. He's got. He's, he's yeah. Gonna, I guess he's just gonna try and gaze. Like that's the thing. You can just gaze the threat. You, like it makes it a lot easier when when they're not handoff options, isn't it? Yeah. So. For sure. It's gonna. Oh, he can't surf it. Bang him. Bang the ball. Yeah, oh dear. Very nice. Oh dear. And pick it up. On bludge. Yep. <laughs> That's so easy. Oh, oh he's, oh, he's going for a scoring threat. threat. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, why not? Love to see it. Makes all the dice. That makes this ball sack even more crucial. Oof. I don't think it was worth getting the throw. I guess it means you've got one for that. It is, for the, for yeah. That handoff. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But even then, right, you could have just gone there and passed it. I don't know, I think I would have rather had him somewhere else. But I guess, yeah, you've got him there for when he does the handoff, and then you've got him there for the end zone. Yeah, so he is helping both of the Blood Bowls. Yes, yeah. yeah, solid. What a game of Blood Bowl. The Elliot game was amazing, yeah. Missed her kick. Yeah, Zara missed the kick, too. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> does get the knockdown. Is this still on? Uh, I mean, uh, it is, yeah. He, yeah, I guess he comes back with the mighty blow wolf and picks it up and lobs it to the tackle zone. It's gonna be what? Three plus, three plus, five plus? No, four plus, Maybe three plus. Four plus, yeah, four or five. And then four plus catch, three plus dodge. Rolled a three. Ah, oh, this guy. Oh, but was it still? Oh no, there is a chance. Yeah, but that vampire's gonna have to throw it. I guess. He can gaze him. Oh, he's gonna throw it with the floor. Oh, what? Oh, he was blitzing him. Was he? Yeah. I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's more. Is that more likely to work? No, it's 55%. No, it's better to just gaze him. It's the wrong player. Um, What's the gaze is what, like 60 something? 66, yeah. I and guess the still... thing is, you might bang out the wolf, right? <laughs> At the end of the yeah. day, you might just bang out the wolf hitting you with mighty blow tackle. So, yeah, it's it was slightly lower odds to score the touchdown, but then bigger odds for winning the game, I guess, in a way. Livers of equity, Jim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's pros and cons, isn't it? Blood Bowl is always pros and cons. It's 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 very hard to say which is the right play most of the time. Mm, yes. All, all you can do is 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 assign each line an equity value and choose the highest one. And choose the biggest one, yeah. <laughs> Gaze is no GFI, yeah. So it's 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 the gaze is mo much more likely to work. In fact, that's true. Yeah, I um I was so disappointed you guys didn't play Dio's team. I really wanted that to be a thing. Yeah, we could just for fun sometime, I guess. If if nobody yeah. deletes the teams, I don't know. I mean, I would like to play them all. But, uh, I mean, I can't say I was upset that we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. money's on the line, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it would have been nice, of course, but um, it's also nice to not have to play the best team in the competition. <laughs> but then maybe they weren't, because... Maybe they weren't, yeah. Yeah, because the, the Spanish team did beat them and us twice, and the Russian team and the Italian team, so, you know, fair, fair play to them. Mate, I'm surprised how, like... Well, the rats did. To be fair, rats and pro Wolves, So, well, no, I'm not surprised with pro Wolves, but like the rats just seem to, like both of them got through to the final. You know? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Like obviously the Pro Orgs are a solid roster. Oh wow. The oh wow. Skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Pro Orgs are obviously amazing. But yeah, I, I didn't think it was a great package for, for Skaven. I was surprised to see so many of them. Like yeah. obviously they're still they're still Skaven, so they're still good. It just yeah. I just didn't think it was a good package. Yeah, and they're very good if they never get anybody removed. <laughs> oh my god. Not the best turn. No. But, I mean, at least it gives us a bit of a game, because um, a solid turn there and it could be GG in like a turn or two, so... Yeah. Been a long old day for you, isn't it, Jim? It has, yeah. Holy moly. How would I fix them? Yeah, I don't think they need fixing. I mean, it depends, right? You could, you could make a new rule for Bloodlust, seeing as you probably shouldn't keep animal savagery in Blood Bowl 2020. So I guess just yeah. make Bloodlust less bad. They're doing alright, aren't they, Vamps? They're not doing as bad as some other races. Oh, yeah. they're doing like. Like Woodies have just crashed, didn't they? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they Weird. were always overpowered, so that makes us see. The thing is, with the NAF rankings, it's kind of stupid because the NAF tournaments were still, you know, were, were ranking Underworld like they were still crap, and Wood Elves like they were still the best, and uh, you know, so like, so really, you'd have to have no tiering, and then you could see what things were like, right? Oh yeah, so it's like. But when when you say Underworld are tier three and 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 uh, Wood Elves are tier one, then yeah, obviously Wood Elves are going to drop like a brick, and obviously Underworld are going to be ridiculously good. <laughs> well, you know, the chat can say what they like, but I I don't need to play it to know that. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 neither did anyone else. Like the pro the point is nobody had played it. Like that's why it was so stupid, right? Having having tiers when no one's played it anyway. The tiers should be based off like stats and stuff, shouldn't they? So having tiered tournaments when nobody had played it was really stupid. <laughs> that's the point. You've got no data to, to like say anything. So it was really it was so dumb to have tiered tournaments. And you have played 2020 rules, just not enough, so... Have I? Oh yeah, yeah Blood Bowl 3. 3. Yeah, 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 there you yeah. go, Volk. Yeah, I've played about, I've played about 30 games on Fumble, and uh, I've played like about 15 games of PB2. Yeah. I played a fair bit of Fumble, I had like a one week binge on Fumble where I played loads. Yeah. And then I, and then I, I'm waiting for something, is it their new... Competitive black box, whatever it is. Oh yeah, yeah, black box. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, like, competitive is anything but. <laughs> it's yeah, it's just like it's it's the funniest name to call a division when <laughs> it's mm. just not. But you have no reason to win or lose. It's just like it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, no reason to play anybody. Like it's so. Yeah. It's like oh man, I, it was always called ranked, and it's so stupid that like that affected your ranking, and it's like you just literally. You can make an Amazon team. You can, yeah, yeah, you can make an Amazon team and literally never play dwarves. Wow, re-roll in. Oh, Over time, yeah. best possible outcome, and sticks the re-roll in, so we can uh, necro yeah. dodge. Well, hey, I did not like what I just saw there. No. Sadly, no, that seemed bad. That stank of desperation. I just don't think we're at that stage yet. No, I think, yeah, I think absolutely right. Look how many, he's not got many standing players, has he? Uh, yeah, that did seem very, very much. I mean, I guess, you know, it removes another thrall, guaranteed, doesn't it? But... Yeah, I mean, he could have removed his, it cost him a re-roll and uh, just put his wolf over one side of the pitch. Could have cost him his wolf as well. Could have. Should have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's had to fight his own card. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, to be fair, yeah, it is easy to forget the so you, you should try and forget it if you've played it, really. <laughs> you should try it. Oh my god, yeah. 
It's, it's, it's hard to bring down the vamps though, isn't it? Especially as like you, you've got Frenzy and they've got Blood Step, so it's like, it's yeah. super hard. Set up two into two, yeah. and you don't really take tackle on much stuff. Like unless you go to like Mighty Blow tackle White, which he hasn't. Uh, yeah. Your your tackle is exclusively on a werewolf. Yeah, he's got this strength four, which is good. Like this would tackle would have been monster for this game, wouldn't it? But yeah. you've just got to keep this guy back and, and hope that he can cover any uh, breakthrough. I mean, this is the weakest part of the Vampire's game, right? It's their offense, so... Yeah. I set up the 2 and a 2. Lovely. Lovely job. Yeah. Oh, no dodge required. <laughs> yeah. Andy gets the foul. I think he probably should foul. Vamp's doing great. They're doing all right. I mean, they're not doing terribly. It's yeah, they're one they're with the ball. I mean, it's it's pretty great, isn't it? Oh, it's rowdy. And they just need to. They just need to. Uh, I can't think of the word. Uh, turtle. Turtle. They just need a turtle, don't they? Oh mate, I saw Dio potato today, it was great. <laughs> like, full blown potato as well. Amazing. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, turtle's like the opposite of a potato, isn't it, really? Yeah. I hate turtling, because I always concede when I turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it just it depends when you turtle, right, I guess. Oh, but what? He, always... he stood firm! Yeah, he's a madman. Oh, I guess, I guess, because then it means that if you pound the second one, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I wonder if he should have just moved the zombies first so he could have, you know, not stood firm, then hit him and pushed him on the second one as well. That would have been nice, wouldn't it, if he'd had, if he'd had the, pl he's already moved him there, right? So he could have moved yeah. this zombie here first, and he could have pushed him on the first one and on the second one, and then that would have saved him the as well. This is a, a pretty nice turn from Chamber. Honestly, I think this is yeah. one of his better turns. So much work to set up the two into two, but like you can afford it, so it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm not sure about the wolf. Uh, <laughs> he's left the vamp, but that I guess he's fouling the vamp. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got to, hasn't he? Because otherwise, it's, and it, but if he gets sent off for a no armor break here, it's it's horrific, isn't it? With the two plus out there. <laughs> so we're just gonna blitz through. No. And he's got a guard here, so he can he can blitz. Blitz it either way, can't he? Actually. They just have so many options, don't they? It's crazy. It is, yeah. It's it's really hard to defend against them. And when I say defend against them, I mean on offense. <laughs> defend your yeah. ball against them. Because there's so many things they can do to try and get it. Oh, wow, he's bloodlusted. Which means he has to go through there. But he's had five, so it's okay. Lob it. Oh, wow. I've just realized I've got animations off. Ah, Think of the... The views and the likes, Jimmy. I know, right? There we go. I mean, it would be pretty foolish having animations on in Blitzbit, to be honest. Let's it be would, real. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd turn those off. Has that broken the replay? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Oh, did he intercept it? No. Oh, no. Just something's no. happening. No, nope, it's just broken the replay completely. Right, it's turn 13 for Shamba. Okay, no, right, we're okay. So we made the pass, and then we're we're ahead a little bit. We had to miss a little bit. Hello, Barasco. Yeah, sorry, that was that. I guess that was stupid changing it mid game, but gets the pal. It was a two into a minus. It was a two into a minus two. Never lucky, Jim. Yeah, that was that was rowdy. Boy, rowdy. Didn't he have to dodge this? Uh, no. One reroll, both down to one reroll. 
But like I would I would have just dodged him later. I don't think punching that guy does does enough that I would have wanted to have done it. If you like you know, dodge out the wolf first before making that block and then maybe because if you dodge him out as well then you've you've screened an okay to gain stage five and and a vampire, but still <laughs> That's a horrible one. Yeah. Oh he's got another shot at the guy, so <laughs> And that's the better one to gaze anyway, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because you want to knock down the tackle, really. Yeah, and and plus you can't sidestep, right? That was, that was the thing. If you, yeah. if you gazed him and then blitzed him, but he could just sidestep as he was now. This is looking pretty sexy for Ongon. Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, this is, yeah, this is looking lost for Chambi. What? Uh, his vamps. The greatest achievement vamps was semi finals, right? Is that. Is that am I right? Semi final? No vamps? idea. I think Elliot got the vamps to the semis, did he? No. Definitely got quarters. He lost to Andre. I think that was the quarter. Pretty sure Vamps have been in a semi final before. Now, this is what? This is round three now, isn't it? Yeah, round of 16. This is. Oh, right, so it's quarter final next. The Leap! The Leap Wolf! You made it? The Leap Wolf! Didn't oh, Ducky won it the season, Rick won. Ducky won what? Ducky hasn't won with Vamps. No, Ducky got the got the semi. Sorry, Ducky got the semi. Oh. Oh, with vampires. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember that. Well. Well, there you go. There's the fail. Oh. The bloodlusts are getting a bit uh, a bit <laughs> difficult to deal with now, aren't they? Beautiful. 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 I can't believe he actually leaped with the, with the leap wolf. <laughs> the, the, the wolf's leap animation is actually really disappointing. Yeah. What's your favourite animation in the game? Oh. You seen the bear touchdown? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say troll pylon. Troll pylon. Yeah, just because oh. it's funny. <laughs> I love the white pylon. Like, yeah. That's just classic anyway. But um, the ogre pylon's pretty great. Yeah. Even, I, I, I like the chauve pylon just because of the... <laughs> <does it. laughs> but that's not really the animation, is it? And I, I really like just the high elf punches. Like The high elf punches look just brutal, don't they? Oh, the whites have the air punch, don't they? The, the, like... <laughs> yeah, the nipple twist. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen a leap in flesh golem? No. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there's the fact that the troll pylon is the cheer five six menu for that. <laughs> that does definitely increase it. A uh, Chambi's just fuck now, isn't he? he can't he can't reach Yeah. Him. This is a loss for Chambi. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just said it because of, because of bloody uh can't remember his name. Unbelievable Jeff. Yeah, John Watson uh, not John Watson, uh Chris Chris Kamara. Chris Kamara, yeah. What a legend. Yeah. What's what's going on, Chris? Uh, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Has he? <laughs> He's been so <laughs> has he? I, I, th I thought he'd been sobbed. <laughs> Amazing. Gets the gaze, gets the 2-0. Oh no, he's not going for the 2-0, he's going to punch a guy first. Is it SPP's? 92, no. Wow, he could have just died. Oh. My. Word. <laughs> ungun doing ungun things. It is, isn't it? Yeah, that is a pretty ungun thing to do. <laughs> Yeah, art did art did a lot of the lesser spotted animations. Um, yeah, the Pogoa the Pogoa pylon is pretty cool. Yeah, 
Oh, well. gets the power. Oh, maybe there is a chance. Oh, that's why he did the blitz, because that was a scoring threat. Oh, okay. But he could have just scored. <laughs> he could have literally <laughs> scored without dying. Oh, no, it's not, because he had to not bloodlust, right? He had to yeah. not bloodlust, and if he, if he bloodlusted, he would have run off the pitch, so that's why he did it. Okay, no, it's actually quite Oh, reasonable. man. Yeah, okay, he did the right thing. What is this? Six plus? It's a reroll. The long ball? No, it's not a long bomb. He's gone there. Oh my god, he's gone in. He's got the relay. Oh my five? god, it's just a three right. plus. Ah, oh, he's caught it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was crazy, wasn't it? We were so close, and yeah, thought it was the wrong play, but it was the right play because yeah, bloodlust. Surprisingly enough, the guy who plays bloodlust knows more than the people who don't play bloodlust teams. But yeah, that was it. It was. It was because if he'd failed, if he'd rolled a one on the on the score with no dice, there obviously was dice. It was two plus, and if he'd if he'd rolled a one there, he wouldn't have scored. So he, he was hitting the scoring threat first. Yeah, so it was actually totally the right thing from Young Gun. Uh, quality Young Gun play. It was yeah, it was quality. It was actually pretty quality Young Gun play there. It's, that's some of the best stuff I've ever seen from him, to be honest, <laughs> in that game. Um, Who's he in line to face next? So uh, we'll have a look at it after the after the YouTube video, Dimmy. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. Oh me, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.